All right, hi guys. This is Ouija session number... I can't see myself. Oh well. Okay, Ouija session number eight. And let me get the questions up. All right. All right, Ganny, are you still there? Yes, okay. So here's question one, Ganny, from Eric. Okay, Veronica, you mentioned if you had the right metals constructing your or our pyramid, can you suggest the right metals for unlimited power? For unlimited power, what about construction of the pyramid? C O P P E R copper. Use copper. A L O N G along W I T H along with A N Y M A T E R I A L along with any material T H A T H A S has it I T S O W N E L E C T R O M A T I C F I E L G Use alumina, or not alumina, but use copper along with any other material that has its own electromagnetic field that creates its own electromagnetic field. Are there any other stones that needed to be added to it? I mean, a possible P U R E Q U A R T See, pure quartz Yes Y O U C A and you can P R O G R A M. You can program T H E M F O R A N Y for any I. N T E N T. Okay, so yeah, you can you can program a quartz crystal to hold your intent. So those are the main um, the main materials that we would need would be copper, a stone that has its own electromagnetic current, and quartz. Yes. And that's all we need. Yes. T H I N K think. 
Shanghaiites. <sighs> yes, black tourmaline. Yes, amethyst. No. Okay, why not amethyst? T O O M U C H. Too much. G O I N G O N. Too much going on. Like A S I N C R Y S T A L P O W E too much crystal power. Yes. K. E. E. P. Keep. I. T. S. I. M. P. L. E. Keep it simple. Yes. I W I L L S E N D. I will send Y O U. I will send you A N D E R. I see you will send me an Eric A D O W N L O A D. Okay, you're gonna send me an Eric a download of how to do it. Yes. Alright, hold on, Ganny, my ring is... So yes, you're gonna send a, a burst of information for me and Eric so we can make one. T O N I G H T Tonight. Yes. Okay. I'm excited for that. That's gonna be exciting. E R I C Eric I S Eric is? Oh, Eric's excited. Yes, I am too. That's very fascinating. Okay, two. This is question two. Okay, I'm not going to let Dogman take up space in my head any longer, Eric says, but I have one more concern. Most eyewitnesses have never heard of dogmen, yet them. They are the only. Yet they are the most, the ones mostly encountering one. In fact, my two friends, both brothers, neither one had any idea what it was. Had it walk out in front of them in the Ocala forest. I asked him to describe it, and every detail matches all the reports. Assuming it, it can be dangerous, what can you suggest we do if we run into this phenomena? Okay, Dogman Ganny. S H O W N O F E a R. Show no fear. Yes. 
A N D J U S T and Jess A C T L I K E I T I S N O T T H E R E to show no fear and act like it's just not even there. Yes. T H E Y they S H A R E they share T R A I T S traits T H A T that O F A R E A L W I L D A N I M A <laughs> That was really weird. L. They show traits of a wild animal. So basically, do what you would do if you encountered a wild animal. Like a dog, show no fear and just ignore it. Yes. Are you making that, that amethyst crystal move? Yes. I love that amethyst. Thank you, Bonnie. Okay. Okay, so question three. You said in 2015 that Eric Eric's cabin property has two open windows. You said that there's nothing to worry about, and so far all the paranormal interaction seems positive. There is a ranch called the Skinwalker Ranch, owned by Bob Biglow. They also have the paranormal phenomenon constantly have, constantly expect. It's all negative in nature. Is there such a thing as a negative and positive window? The second part to this question is why is the ranch so active with negative paranormal experiences? So our windows... A L L all D E P E N D S A W H O O P E N E D T H E W I N D O so it all depends on who opened the window. Yes, but what if they're natural, just naturally there? T H E N then I T I S U P T O S O U R C E Then it's all up to source if it's a natural natural like vortexes, portals, and windows so then that's all up to source on, on who like if they created, source created it. 
Yes. E R I C S A R E Eric's R N A T U R A L and Eric's are natural A N D P O S I T I V E Okay, so Eric's are natural and positive Yes. Okay, what about the second part of the question? The paranormal activity there at that ranch is always negative. No. I T I S it is I N it is N T H E I R H E A R T S It's in their hearts Yes T H E Y They D O N N O they do not U N D E R S T A N D T H E S P I R I T U a L spiritual they do not understand the spiritual D I M E N S I O N S so they don't understand the spiritual dimensions O R T H E or the B E I N G S. Okay, so they don't understand, the people at that ranch don't understand the spiritual dimensions and they don't understand the beings of the spiritual dimensions that come through. Yes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we got we have that now. Okay. Okay, now question 4. Going back to your answer about the Venetian women from Venus who helped us in our space program. These girls are obviously advanced, but they are just human flesh and blood women. Do they need spaceships or can they just materialize in your hallway? So about the uh, the Venus the be beings from Venus. T H E Y they T R A V E L they travel B Why they travel by T H O U G H T they travel by thought. Yes. So they don't need ships or uh, pods. No. 
B U G T H O S E but those G O A P E A R they do appear yes but they travel by thought yes that is that's really cool that's really cool to be able to travel by thought wow okay okay now number five Eric witnessed twice a faction at our government try and fire on the Orion DZ once with an F-16 fighter that fired cannons over his cabin at them from a space-based weapon on the si on six DZ crafts crafts as they formed a cross over Eric's house Gina told him at that moment telepathically we cannot make further contact until this is resolved why are there why are they being attacked if Gina was Eric's part of Eric's aptitude testing in grade school and was the first one that he met in Mars at age 16 are they now running with another race and shut out of the Orion T H E Y A R E they are E F F E C T E D they are affected B Y T H O U G H T T L Oh, they're they are affected by thought too. Yes. H I G H I B E I N G S high beings T H O U G H T S high beings thoughts A R E six X M O R E six times P O T E N T so th their their thoughts are six times well, higher beings thoughts are six times more potent yes more potent than our thoughts as human beings yes I F O N E F1 B E I N G if one being H A S has A S E C O N E D a second O F A N E G A T I V E T H O U G H T 
I T E F F E C T S T H E E N T I R E C O S M O S. Okay, so if one being, a higher being, if they have one second of a negative thought, it basically disrupts the entire cosmos. Yes. Wow. That's a little scary. I T I S it is. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Okay, six. Can you give us any good news updates on the Alliance, Freeing Man, and the Blue Avians? Give us... Oh, and the Blue Avians. We are not seeing much progress. In fact, it seems like more cabal efforts to control us. T H E A V I A N S the avians A R E R P R E P P I N Prepping F O R C H E C H A N G E. So the blue, the avians, the blue avians are prepping for. Prepping for the change. Yes. I T I S N O T. It is not A N E G A T I V E T H I N G A T A L L It's not a negative thing at all. And you're sure. Yes. So they're just they're they're just preparing. Yes. D O N O T W O R R why do not worry? E R I C. Do not worry, Eric. So, do not worry, Eric. That's what she's saying. Okay. Seven. Okay, the general consensus is that New Earth 2 is available to us. But the word is we have an even larger cosmic energy tsunami that's going to arrive and various opinions on how it's going to affect us 
have surfaced. It seems like the general consensus is the sun is going to sneeze and it's going to bring higher frequencies. Is this true? Is it true that our carbon bodies will be crystalline? Do you have any... Oh, sorry, Ganny. Do you have any idea when this cosmic tsunami will be on our shores? And what's your opinion of what we can expect? That's funny he put it. Ganny, can you see the, the screen? Yes. What did he put at the very bottom? N O F E A R. No fear. Huh. Okay. I was just seeing. Okay. So what do you think about that? F T H fourth D E N S I T Y W I L L H A P P E N F O R Y E A R S for years A F T E R Y O U A R E W I T H U S Okay, so the fourth, we're going into the fourth, the fourth density. Yes, but, so that's going to happen for so many years that we won't see that in our lifetime? Yes. So, will our bodies eventually, uh, our carbon bodies, will it be crystalline? N O T, not I, N, not N. Y O U R L I F E T I M E S No, not in our lifetimes, no. Yes. W H E N Y O U P A S S T H E N when you pass, then, Y, O, U, W, I, L, L, E, X, P, E, R, I, E, N, C E T H E C R Y S T A L L I N E B O D why? So when we pass, we will be able to experience the crystalline bodies. Yes, but not in our lifetime. Not in me and Eric's lifetime, even though we're 
and we're a few years apart. No. So what, what, what's going to happen? I mean, going into the fourth density. M. O. R. E. More. A. R. E. C. O. M. I. N. G. I. N. T. O. T. H. E. I. R. O. W. N. Their own. S. P. I. R. I. T. U. A. L. Spiritual. P. R. A. C. T. I. C. E. S. So more people are coming into their own spiritual practices. Yes. B. Y. T. H. E. T. H. O. U. S. A. N. D. S. So more of these people are going to be doing this by the thousands. Yes. A. S. P. I. K. E. A spike. I. N. N. <coughs> A. L. L. N. All. O. C. C. U. L. T. And all occults. A. R. E. A. S. So more coming into their opening up to the occult more. Yes, not like an evil like cult, but uh, the, the hidden. The hidden is becoming unraveled or unveiled. B. I. G. T. I. M. A. Big time. Yes. All right, hold on just a second, Ganny. Don't leave me. Okay, all those questions are done. So now I want to see if a she can, let's see, type, let's see, here's notes. Okay, let's go back to new notes. Let's see, here's a new note. Okay. Ganny, are you still there? Yes, okay. Um, I have uh, my iPad open to letters with the keyboard. Can you see it? There's a blank page. Yes. Can you make anything appear, like type on it? I M I G H T I might T H A T that I S T R 
I, V, I, A, L. You might, but that's trivial to you. Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to cause anything, so. All right, Ganning, well, thank you. Thank you for, for uh, everything that you brought through. That was a lot. So, Eric will be happy, and so I love you. I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you later. And thank you so much. Hi. L. L. C. E. Y. O. U. Oh, I love you, Ken. I wonder if we could get her to channel. I wonder if I could channel, actually channel her, her, uh, her name. All right. Okay, Ganny, just channel. Let me channel your name. Yeah, that's her handwriting. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, that is her handwriting. That is her handwriting. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Stupid iPad. Okay, guys, I will see you in just a second. Thank you, Ganny, for all of that. And I will see you all in just a sec. Hi, guys. That was like magic. No, I'm kidding. So, yeah. Eric. Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you. So, don't remember the Ouija session. Do you remember channeling her name? Let me see if I can actually see myself in the camera. No, I can't, or I would bring it up, so I, I don't know. I'll try to incorporate that into the video. I'll just send you the what she wrote, what I channeled from her. Definitely her handwriting. Scary, scary weird. So, I don't remember anything from the Ouija session. So, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, hopefully she answered questions. Um, I know we had a lot of questions from yesterday's session. So, hopefully she clarified them. Um, that, that there's a triangle with almost a pendulum hanging from the top inside of it. it that's kind of what I'm saying. So, I'm not 100% sure on that. So. Wow. Yes, there we go. Session 8. So we are getting a lot done this year. A lot. So again, Bonnie, thank you. You're, you, you, how did you know? Thank you. Eric, you're freaking amazing. And I will talk to you in just a second. So, alright everybody, I love you all very much and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you all the way from Venus all the way back down. There. Sorry, guys. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I love you all. I really do, and thank you.